Hey guys, for week 18 we have what are four types of ocean floor. So I made this sheet and uh, this is the way it's going to look when you download it. And then what I had my kids do was add different elements and different textures to it as we study the different parts of the different types of ocean floor. And I'll show you what we did. For the continental shelf, we glued um, sandpaper right there on the continental shelf and it's you know it has the little grit gritty feeling so it's like sand then for the uh, abyssal planes we put this I found this at the craft store it's a camouflage foam sheet uh, I just happened to see it and I just thought it looked like you know dirt and sediments and stuff so that's why I grabbed it and that's what they use for abyssal planes but you know you can put whatever you want to put on there construction paper, tissue paper, whatever you like. It's just my idea with these kinds of projects is that we add different textures to all the different features that we're studying. So when they're building it and putting it together, they can feel it, they can remember, they can put it together, glue it, and it helps them remember what we're learning, the memory work. So we put uh, that on the abyssal planes. And then for the mountain ranges and ridges, I'll go like this so you could see. It's actually uh, paper. I got construction paper. And let me show you. It's just super easy and it's actually good for fine motor skills. Uh, just fold and you press. And you turn it. And then you fold again. And you turn it and then you fold again. And that, so that way you're making your little mountain ranges and ridges. And uh, you just keep going until you, you get enough to cover your mountain ranges and ridges. And then for ridges, we just put uh, a little piece of yarn on the top, just kind of to represent the ridges on the mountain ranges. And uh, on the top, I just put a little piece of clear blue paper so that they would remember this is what's happening underwater. This is in the ocean and that's, we can't see any of this because it's underwater. So that's why I put it, I just put tape right here at the edge so they can open it, see it, and review their names, and then they can cover it back up and then review their names, their, their memory work. So thank you. I hope it helps. It's really not that hard to make, and the kids had a lot of fun putting it together.